Hard Knock Game of the Week. It's our field. Me and him. Yeah. We're going to the other side. This is game time. Junior, Junior Nubians. It's our house. They're in our field. We do what we do. Who are we? Nubians. Who are we? Nubians. Who are we? Nubians. Who are we? What they heart beat for? They scared. Look at them and tell them. What they heart beat for? They scared. What they heart beat for? They scared. What they heart beat for? They scared. I sit like five kids over to him, like, go over there to coach. Yeah, he's uh, like, man, <laughs> that chair. you're a coach. I That's how Millennium see, started, though. He's got the eye. Right. He's got a football eye. So whatever I don't see, he gonna he's going to see. Whatever time we don't see, and he don't come in there like, mind you, his son's a killer. My name is Eric Britford. I'm the dad of Aaron Jordan Britford. Uh, he's been playing football for the last six years now. He's 12 years old, and a gr he's great. He's great. Starting out last year, like uh, we started out with West Mal. We was with West Mal last year. Um, we did make it all the way to the Super Bowl. It didn't happen. The Super Bowl definitely didn't pan out the way that we wanted to. Welcome to the Columbus Hard Knock Game of the Week. You're gonna have to, he's not ready. Oh. Cowboys one in the backfield. He snaps. Touchdown, Cowboys! Hey, everybody, now, scoot up! Isaiah, look where you're at! Isaiah, look where you're at! Boom! What a lick! Thrown in the towel. And the Cowboys keep putting a good old school thumping. I was just getting mad because, like, the Cowboys in that league, they've been the top team every single year, and I just wanted to beat them. But, like, our team, like, everybody told me if I fall apart, the whole team going to fall apart, and I was falling apart. Like, I be trying to get my attitude together, but I was feeling just, like, mad because we was getting smacked, and I can't get hit. I was getting mad. I just wanted to, I just snapped. I just threw my helmet. I don't know why. I was mad. Following this go. game and the handshakes, there will be a presentation at the 50 yard line. Make sure we stay for that. Clear the field immediately after. Go! Let's 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 go!
I knew I was going to get it because, you know, he don't like when I act out. Like, like he want me to do good. Like, he want me to just put on a show for people. He want me to, like, really do good and, like, do what I do. So when I threw my hoe, I knew I was going to get beat up or something. I don't know. Like, but I just, like, now I just try to, like, keep my cool because, like, I don't want people to, like, think I'm bad or mean or something. I just want to, like, be chill um. and stuff. Aaron's breakdown at halftime uh, really came down to him really having to be everything to everybody. You know what I'm saying? And me also, I put pressure on him. But as a dad, you're supposed to put a little pressure on your kid. You know what I'm saying? Pressure busts pipe. You know what I'm saying? But pressure also make diamonds. <laughs> Hard Knock Game of the Week. This should be a banger. Hard Knock would like to give you the opportunity to promote your brand with us. Please feel free to reach us at www.hardknockyouthsports.com. Deep down in Reynoldsburg, Ohio, there's a phenomena taking place. A remarkable sensation in a unique package that will leave you searching for an explanation. How can a person 12 years of age possess a divine-like determination that drives them every day to have their first workout done by 5 a.m.? So disciplined that you can follow a strict diet regiment down to the exact carb. It takes a special kid to dominate football and wrestling in the same season and make the national wrestling team. What if I told you it was a girl? Hello, this is Jessica Spencer reporting live with Hard Knocks Youth Sports. Savannah Holderby has just dominated the 2019 boys football and wrestling division. Savannah's courage to play both sports, despite her being a girl, has resonated with young ladies around the world. Hard Knocks have received views and emails by the thousands in her support. Meet 12-year-old Savannah Holderby. Yeah. Honestly, for me, it wasn't an issue. Um, I think it was more of an issue for her dad. Uh, I was a tomboy growing up. Um, I didn't play, well, I played organized sports when I was little, but when I got older, I, uh, I raced motocross. So it was a pretty dangerous sport as well. Um, so it was kind of like natural to me that my daughter kind of wanted to do more like rough and tough type stuff. Um, but yeah, we started her out, you know, in basketball and he was wrestling. And she's so super competitive. So once she, she would get frustrated playing basketball because she would be taking everything serious and she'd get out there and kids would you know, be like wanting to dance over on the side of the court and not really be there, you know. And she went and watched his wrestling and she was like, it's just you, you know. So win or lose, there's no one to blame but yourself. So she said, she was like, we told her, we said they want you for the travel team for basketball. She was like, I don't want to play basketball, I want to wrestle. And I was like, okay, that's cool. And her dad was the one that was like, I don't know, I don't know if I can have my baby girl. Yeah, actually it was the, <laughs> it was hard. Uh, she was playing basketball. They asked her to be on the travel league because they said she was an athlete. She was the only one on the team that they thought could handle the travel league stuff. So we were pumped up. We were like, all right, all right, she's going to do this. And then he was wrestling and she went to the wrestling practice and she was just pacing. You can see her pacing. She couldn't handle it. Like she wanted to get out there so bad that she was like, I, 
And we were like, no, no, you don't want to wrestle, do you? <laughs> and she's like, I can beat him. I know I can beat him. So she wanted to wrestle. So we were like, all right, so me and my wife talked. And we were like, uh, we were like, all right, look, if you're gonna do this, it's good for self-defense. You know what I mean? It's got some benefits. We'll, we'll let her do it so she can be able to defend herself in the future, things of that nature. So she did, she went out there her first year and just started smashing people. So honestly, that makes me feel as proud as any person can feel. You know what I mean? So when you hear that Savannah, like when you hear the inspiration that you are to your family and your father, like what did that do to you like as far as making them feel? How did that make you feel hearing that? It made me feel like really happy and excited. It made me work harder when I came out here. It made me want to help motivate him more and work harder and do what I needed to do even more. Like I would come out here, there was one morning where um, I had to come out here because he was like really sick and he had to go to work early and all that stuff happened so I came out here and I started working out and I was doing pull ups and I was doing lunges and all different kinds of stuff out here working hard because I knew that if I did that then it would help motivate him to come back out here again and help motivate him to come back out here again and to help motivate our family to start getting better in that way so wow. so so like like you, that's this your sister, and and like you a tough little. I was watching you, you pretty tough. Like, how does it feel like to, you know, to have a sister that's that's as tough as her? You know, how like what do that do for you? Do it help you out? Yes, it helps me out a lot because her one upping her game is me one upping my game, and we just keep getting better and better as a family. And as we get better, we get up, and then. We get better than all the other kids, and then we're just awesome. I mean, that's right. Like, so, so it's like so y'all, y'all, y'all work out for four hours a day. Like, what makes y'all get up every day and do that? Like, cause the normal kids, they, they ain't, they ain't doing that. So, what, 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 what clicks in y'all mind to get y'all to get up every day to train for four hours? How good do you gotta want to be? Well, it's, it all starts by like the first match that I won. Like it, that's what set my mentality. When I won my first match, I was like, okay, I love this feeling. This is, this is what's gonna get me going. So every time I won another match or scored another touchdown or something happened like that, it just motivated me to get better. I was like, I like that feeling, I want that again. So like I would come out here and I'd be like, all right, I need to work on my speed if I wanna go get another touchdown or I gotta work on my endurance if I wanna have another wrestling match that I can win or strength or whatever it may be that caused me to keep waking up 6 a.m. and coming out here and working out as hard as I could and pushing myself to the limit. 